Welcome to my Sorrento and Positano travel guide. I love Italy and can't wait to share some of the following things with you. The best Airbnb, magical sunsets, good coffee, insane views, and scootering along the Amalfi Coast. My name is Chiara. I have a brand. I'm studying architecture in Paris. I love to travel, and I hope this video is helpful and fun to watch. If you want to go to Italy, be ready to plan a trip of your dreams. You have to do this cooking class, enjoy good food, and more. So without further ado, get your notebooks out and let's get started. You're probably wondering how to get to Sorrento. To get here, you can fly into Naples, You can hop on a ferry from Naples to Sorrento for about 14 euros or you can catch a one hour train that's 4 euros. Then take a bus to your hostel, Airbnb or hotel. Cabs are really expensive in Italy especially. During your stay you can rent scooters or you can even rent a mini Fiat. Scooters are the best way to see the coast as you can discover the best views and find hidden gems, like this cafe. After a long travel day, we checked in to our Airbnb, then made our way to the most perfect hotel, where we watched the sunset and had espresso martinis. You're probably wondering where to stay. We were lucky to stay at the most perfect Airbnb, which I'll link in the description. And here's a little tour. When you walk in, you'll find the kitchen, which overlooks the beautiful town of Massa. And this is where we enjoyed our morning coffee. Now, let's go to the bedroom. This room leads to a cute balcony, one of which many sunsets were admired from. We even had a home-cooked meal here one night, and then got ready to go out for the evening. And then finished our night with gelato. Maslu Bresne is my top choice. It's the sweetest place to stay because it's not only quaint, but it has many family-run businesses, such as this gelato bar and this local cafe. I'll also show you my go-to dinner spot in this town later. Let's go on a day trip to Positano. Waking up in the morning in our cozy bed, then heading out the door to explore. You can make a few pit stops on your way to Positano. Try lemon granita, fresh fruit, and limoncello. Cheers. Take in the spectacular, breathtaking views. Literally question if this is real life. And spontaneously stop at a beach on your way. On a hot summer's day, the sea is all you need. And I recommend going to this one. It sits at the base of this bridge, which is about 30 meters in height. Once you get to Positano, you can pick up four euro sandwiches. We chose caprese, tomato, and basil, and eat them by the beach. Picnics are always a good option, but you can also opt for a sit-down meal. Then pick up a gelato and wander around, visit some boutiques, then take in all the views once again, admiring the hues, especially the blues. Either scooter or take a car back to the Airbnb. 
and watch the sunset after the one hour and a half drive. Sorrento is about 15 minutes from the Airbnb. This is the more commercialized and main area of the coast. An early morning start calls for coffee at Hotel Bellevue Seven and complimentary pastries accompanied by a pretty view and my beautiful friend, Bonnie. Sorrento is where the main port is, so many day trips begin here. You definitely have to explore the city center and then you can make your way to the port of Marina Grande. Here you can finish your day off with a sunset and of course a drink. We chose Limoncello. Dinner time was around 9 p.m. and you can probably guess what was on the menu. A lot of pizza and a whole lot of pasta. A few glasses of Prosecco, good company and many memories. This trip was so special and I'm so glad to have captured many good moments. Here's an idea of an activity to do. Italy is the best place for a cooking class. I have an entire video on the class I took, which I'll link in the description, but here's a little sneak peek. I will admit it was not a cheap activity, but you got a lot of food, a lot of wine, a really good time, and at the end of the day, they send you home with all the recipes. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned I would talk about my go-to restaurant. Just steps away from the Airbnb, you walk towards the sea, then down a flight of stairs to Il Cantuccio, where we had delicious pasta, great wine, and incredible views. I get so shy. <laughs> talking to the camera. Thumbs up if you like this video, and thank you so much for watching. In the next Italy video, Expect day trips to Amalfi and Capri and more and follow my Instagram at Chiara Marcou.